Hello all. In this session, we are going to continue with the module 1 that is introduction to civil engineering. And then in this, we have to know about the impact of infrastructural development of a country. In the last sessions, in the last uh, videos, we have learned about different fields in the civil engineering, that is different scopes uh, in the civil engineering in all the different fields. So what is the impact on your country uh, regard, with respect to the infrastructural development if you have all the facilities in your country, all the facilities in your place. So what will be the impact on the society or a country? So that is a question, a very important question for the university exams and also IAS. So the impact that is increase in food production. So I think this it will comes uh, uh, with respect to the field that is water resources and irrigation engineering. So please do watch that session. So you'll get to understand what is the role of civil engineers in that particular uh, topic. So here first one increase in food production. So if you have a good facilities in your country or a place, good water supply, you are well built, you know, the dams, bridges, waterways, everything. So definitely uh, the agriculture fields will be, uh, you know, it will take a good amount of water. So we'll get a good production in that. So def definitely there will be increase in the food production. Next one protection from drought, famine, flood. So if you have all the facilities in your country, so definitely we'll be having the facilities to control all these things. For example, transportation, military system, etc. So definitely we'll get protection from all those things. Next one, healthy and comfortable housing facility. I think this will comes under construction technology and structural engineering. Construction technology, which is like having a different types of uh, construction techniques and structural engineering means a calculation of the loads in the structure, particular structure. So healthy and comfortable uh, housing facilities we will get uh, we'll, we will get it from that uh, particular uh, field. Next one safe domestic and industrial water supply. I think this will comes in the irrigation uh, engineering and also environmental engineering. So safe domestic and industrial water supply and in environmental engineering actually the water purification uh, is going to done and that is the the pH values for uh, drinking water is dif different and the pH value for other water that is other usage industrial uh, uh, industries usage that will be different so definitely safe and domestic uh, safe domestic and industrial water supply will be good next safe and scientific water disposal so the water which is coming out from the industries and the water which is coming out from the normal law, uh, you know, the houses. So that separation should be there. So this uh, will be comes under environmental engineering. Improvement in communication and transportation. So definitely this will comes under transportation engineering. So if we have uh, good transportation facilities, highways, harbors, airports in our country. So definitely the communication will be going to improve and the transportation facility will be going to improve. Generation of electricity from nuclear, hydrothermal, hydro thermal, solar or wind energy. So generation of electricity, uh, this will comes under hydraulics actually. So there we will learn like uh, characteristics of the water movement. So there generation of electricity if the electricity is good in our country so definitely all the other facilities going to improve next one improved wealth prosperity standard of living so if you have all the facilities in our day-to-day -day life so definitely the wealth prosperity and standard will be going to improve overall growth of a nation so overall growth of the nation will be good and the economy also it will be going to increase and continuity for this large scale budget allocation for infrastructure leads to agriculture and industrial development so large scale but budget in large scale industries so allocation so that also if it is increased so all the agriculture products uh, and the industrial uh, developments will be more provide employment eradicates poverty and enhances the 
per capita income so definitely if you start any if you are starting any projects or construction work so definitely employment is going to improve and if you have a good transportation facilities so everyone can easily uh, travel to the different places so providing the employment things and eradicates the poverty and enhances of exact uh, definitely the income uh, the economy of the country economy of the nation is going to increase urban growth only can lead to population drift from uh, rural sectors leading to explosion in population in cities and inadequate development of villages and improved care of agriculture sectors i think first two points uh, uh, we have studied uh, that um, if you have a good uh, con construction technologies and uh, uh, different uh, agriculture sectors that is water resource and irrigation system system so rural areas can also can uh, can reach the urban growth system use of infrastructural facility only by upper leads to imbalance this infrastructure facility is only if the upper middle class if they are only utilized not by the other or rural area so definitely imbalance will be there so that's why infrastructural facility should be considered to the whole nation so this is the uh, different impact on the country if we if we have all the facilities in our country next role of civil engineers what is the role of the civil engineer in in our infrastructural development so just now we have uh, seen that what are the impact of the infrastructure development now we have to see what is the role of a civil engineer i think i have explained this in the last uh, topic itself what will be the roles uh, in the different different categories construction of roads railways ports harbors and airports so this is a role and this is comes under transportation engineering construction of dams and proper utilization of water resources it is comes under uh, water resources and irrigation engineering construction of housing commercial and industrial complexes so this will comes under both that that is uh, um, construction technology and structural engineering maintenance of facility i think uh, this is a part and parcel of everyone so this will be comes under uh, related to all the branches maintenance also is one of the a uh, main major duty of the civil engineering for a civil engineers rebuilding rehabilitation uh, retrofitting and repair works so this is also a uh, part and parcel of uh, i can say for all the engineers so rebuilding everything repair works everything is concerned to that particular departments in surveying planning designing estimation and execution of structures in surveying definitely the engineer should plan design estimate and then execution of the project to use scientific and engineering principles to solve different engineering problems to implement management techniques and to carry out the surveying and leveling with survey instruments so for all the uh, the project if the before any project so first we need to do the surveying that is measuring the land so that is also a role of a civil engineering to carry out soil investigation that will comes under geotechnical engineering to carry out planning of buildings to carry out the design of structures to carry out quantity survey and to prepare estimate and to invite tenders these are the few uh, few uh, roles main roles of the civil engineers thank you